Godot 4 is making waves and I'm seeing more and more content featuring Godot 4 in some way or another on YouTube. It's really a great time to get into game dev with Godot 4. Let's check out five great Godot tutorial channels which will help you to do just that. Game Dev Journey Mosin Zar has been experimenting with the latest test build of Godot 4 and has made a video sharing his solution to create a height map with a collision in Godot. You can optimize the code of course but this is a fine example for how to make terrain in Godot with collisions. Thanks very much for sharing your findings with the community motion. There is a lot more content on Mosin's channel and I would recommend it for advanced Godot users as it's largely focused on machine learning, AI and neural networks, all in Godot. So if this is something that you would like to learn more about, then definitely check out Mosin's channel because he has a lot of stuff there for you. I always enjoy hearing the thoughts of newcomers to the Godot engine and seeing their reactions upon using it for the first time. Lazy Alarm has produced a semi-comprehensive review of the Godot game engine as someone who has now used it for game dev for over 100 hours. He tries to focus on the specific features that he thinks makes or breaks the engine and how they compare to other engines such as Unity or Unreal in terms of game development. Apart from this specific video, Lazy Alarm has a lot of general game development and game jam content on his channel. Hopefully he will have converted to the Godot engine now and in future videos and tutorials it will all be done in Godot style. The channel Game Dev with Drew has only been around for a few weeks and already they have a wealth of game dev tutorial content using the Godot engine. They've been publishing daily and if we support Drew, then I'm sure that he'll manage to keep up this torturous upload schedule. If you're new to Godot, then Drew's channel is a good one to start with, as he goes through everything you need to know thoroughly and in a way that makes it easy to understand. Also, you know that he's putting in maximum effort into the channel, and there'll be more videos to come, and if you support him, it'll help to guarantee this. Head over there now and subscribe. Yumwa Game Studio has released an advanced movement template for Godot 4. Get it now for free and use it in your own game. It has velocity direction, different camera views, orientation warping, rotate in place, first person and third person views and even multiplayer client server support built in. This is an incredible resource for all 3D and first person Godot developers to make use of and I have to say a huge thank you to Yumwa for releasing this to the community. This is the true embodiment of the spirit of Godot so everyone please go and check this out right now. Finally Chris over at Chris's Tutorials has a new tutorial out on how to add global music and 2D audio in Godot 4. This is a nice beginner friendly tutorial which is quick and easy to do. The steps for adding sound effects are similar as you're still using the audio stream player nodes. Chris makes tutorials on various different computer software and Godot 4 must be making waves for sure if he's picked it up and made a video on it. So this is very encouraging and I am super excited about it. That's all for this week. As always, thanks for joining me and I hope to see you all again next time.